Hey guys, and welcome back to a new beauty video. This time I am joined by the beautiful Lily. Hello. Lily Pebbles, I'm sure you already follow her channel. If not, obviously I will be leaving her link down below. You will love her videos and her vlogs. Mm -hmm. She posts like three times a week somehow. She's like Wonder Woman. <laughs> so honestly, you'll love her videos as much as I do. So go along to there and subscribe and give her loads of love because she deserves it. So today we're excited to film a bit of a different video. It's going to be the five product face challenge. Well done. Yeah. That was, that was a mouthful. I got that, I got that. <laughs> so the idea being that we just create, we've both got different makeup. We're going to create a full look with just five products. I'm going to put this in there now that we're going to emit brows. <laughs> yeah. Mainly because some people don't do their brows. Some people just use a spoolie and then some people also get theirs dyed. Yeah. So just for the sake of keeping it into five products, we're going to use five products that aren't including brows. So yeah. I hope that's all good. If not, then it's six, of course. I think it's really good if you don't have much time in the morning to get ready. This is just a really quick, like, five minute, yeah. five product face. Exactly. So we're going to show it pretty much, show you some of our favourite products and what we would use if we want to quickly put on some makeup with five products. So I really hope you enjoy. And should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm going to tie back my hair because I can't stand having my hair in my face. Yeah, I'm just going to have to tuck mine behind my ears. I know it really annoys everyone, but really? it's fine. Okay, I'm going to start with foundation. Okay. Um, mine you have to shake up. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation with SPF. I use three fair. I love this because it's like, it's like a tinted moisturizer. But it's very yeah. glowy. Yeah, it's quite light, isn't it? Really? Yeah. I'm going to go, it's really dirty this bottle now. I'm going to go for the NARS Luminous Weightless Foundation. I've got this in Deauville, which is the same that I've got in the Sheer Glow. Yeah. I don't know which I prefer. I think I probably prefer Sheer Glow. Yeah, that, this is too high coverage for me. Yeah. It's better for oilier skin types. Yeah. Um, I'm using my Bobbi Brown, uh, what's this called? Full Coverage Face Brush. Yeah. I'm using my Zoeva Silk Finish Brush. It is quite high coverage, this, and it is fairly yellow. I think it's more yellow than... Um, Nars Sheer Glow, I think. Yeah. But I do Nars like foundations it. are very yellow. Have you used this Charlotte Tilbury foundation before? Yeah, I have, but no. I think I've got it in a shade too dark for me. Oh. So I can't wear it as much, but I always find it does leave a lovely finish. It's nice to use. I actually like use, applying it with my fingers. I just can't be bothered to get messy hands today. Really? But it's such a nice, like, light foundation. Do you always do foundation with your hands? No, but when it's like more of a tinted moisturiser, I feel like it applies better because then it doesn't sit on top of the skin. You can like really work it into your oh, skin with your hands. I see. That's why I like using a sponge quite often. Because I find it's really good to go over your face with a sponge and it just all sinks in. Yeah. Really nice. Do you wet your sponge? Yes. Yeah, for ages I would just spritz the sponge with a bit of face mist. And then it works really well like that as well. But then I started wetting it and then I realised just how much more it helps to sink your foundation. Yeah. That looks amazing on you. That's, I'm just going to leave it. It's, it's quite a, it's not like heavy at all. You can still see my skin, but I quite like it just for like yeah, a Yeah, that brush day. is great. Oh my God, have you not got this? No. I've got two. <laughs> They're the best, it's the best brush ever. It's like the Real Techniques Buffing Brush, but kind of a bit better quality. You don't go through them as quickly. Is it? Um, it's so oh. good. I just, I love buffing in. And then you feel like you really can't see it on sitting on top of the skin. That's really lovely. It doesn't really look like I'm wearing foundation. I'm gonna leave my foundation there actually. Yeah, me too. Um, it's just for an everyday look, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've got a wet sponge. By the way, just, just to make it clear, we're not including our tools in yeah. the five products. This is just for the five products that are going on the face. Yeah. I could probably use, oh no, not for my bronzer. I couldn't use my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else I could. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh god, could you imagine trying to put bronzer on your hands? <laughs> just like streaks. I'm sorry that I'm staring at you. I love watching people do their makeup. I feel like I'm a viewer here. I'm just like, da -da -da. Okay, so for concealer, step two, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury, the retoucher. Lots of Charlotte Tilbury in this one, but I actually, I've got like three concealers I like. The NARS one, the Urban Decay one, and this one. I've run out yeah. of the other two, so. It's just one of those really easy like wind up ones, so. Oh. It's very brightening for under the eyes. Is Better it, for under the eyes than face, but I'm just gonna use it everywhere. So. Is it a bit of a touche class? Um, not really because I don't like the Touche Club because it's more of like a highlighter. I yeah, find. it is. It's not good this is like yeah, this is like an actual concealer. It's like got good coverage. Oh. It's just got like nice, like not highlighting, oh, brightening yeah, it's qualities. It's very brightening, isn't it? Yeah. So I just put it under my eyes, down my nose. 
I always get red around my nose. Me too. So what concealer are you using? So I'm using the Clarins Instant Concealer, which is just one of those like holy grail products. I know it's gonna do a good job. So if you've got good skin, you can use just that because you can use that a bit like a foundation as well, yeah, I find. Yeah, it does go a long way, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's so easy to blend. It's just, yeah, it's a fave and I'm nearly run out, so I'm gonna go buy a new one. Yeah. Without a doubt. So I'm just like patting it in with the sponge into my under eyes. It's, works really well. I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush to blend mine. I think it's like the perfect size brush. I for love that brush. Concealer. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so two products down. What's your third product? Okay, my third product is this Soap and Glory Solar Powder Bronzer. Because I think if I had to pick between bronzer and blush, bronzer, I just can't, this is the one step I can't miss. I don't even know why. I'm not that pale, but I just feel like it changes my face. Me too. So I don't like going out without any bronzer on. No. I love it. So I'm going to go for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, mainly because it has a few different products in it. So mm. it's got this beautiful like bronzy one that I love as a bronzer, like a glowy bronzer. And then the middle one I use as a highlight. And then I also use them as eyeshadow. So that's what I'm going to do. Clever. Oh yeah, I'm going to use mine as an eyeshadow as well, because this has got like one matte side and one slightly, what's the word? Shimmery? A little bit shimmery. Yeah. I love that palette. I like to use them together. It's such a good one. And it's yeah. such a lovely, like, muted, shadowy brown shade, isn't it? Yeah. You can use a big, fluffy brush if you just want an all-over tan, but um, I also sometimes use the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Powder and Sculpt brush if it's on the matte side to contour a little bit. Oh, yeah. That is a lovely brush. Mm. So I'm just putting this on my temples and over my forehead and my cheek hollows. And onto my cheeks actually is like a blush too. Okay, I'm gonna start using this as an eyeshadow. I think I'm just gonna take the matte brown side brown side. Are you putting that all over or just in the crease? Um all over and then a little bit underneath. Ah, very nice. Oh, it looks nice. Oh it is lovely. It's kind of like a, a warm brown. Yeah. I never thought of using that. I like that. I'm just using a Zoeva um, crease brush. I love these, they're so fluffy. Me too. That's it's, like my favourite. They're so good. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, this is a Real Techniques blush brush and it's incredible with this palette. It's so good. I'm just gonna move on to the cheek brush, which is in the NYX PIX collection. And I'm just gonna use that with the middle shade as a highlight. You're making me want that palette. Do you not have it? No, I've got... Um, I've just got one of the hourglass powders that I use to set my makeup. So when I first oh. saw that, I thought it looked too shimmery. Oh, I just love it so much. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of bought it thinking it was so beautiful and then I've used it to death, I love it. Do you have the Ethereal Light to set your makeup? No, Diffuse, oh. I think. Um, oh. Yeah, I think it's Diffuse Light. Look at Ethereal Light, it's beautiful for setting makeup. And I'm just gonna use the Zoeva Look Soft Crease. I'm gonna put a bit of this bronzy tone in. Okay, I've done my bronzy and eyeshadow step. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit fast. Sorry, sorry. I'll wait, I'll wait. Sorry. <laughs> That's nice as an eyeshadow. It's pretty, isn't it? It's really got nice. almost like an orange toned bronze. Did you use it as an eyeshadow before? Yeah, I really like it. It's a good one. I mm. often put this in like when I go travelling. In fact, I think I took this to Disney. Oh, did you? Yeah. It's really nice. It's like a bit of everything. Although I should have done a lighter shade first because now I've got a dirty brush. But <laughs> it's okay. I'm just going to use a very shimmery bit just on the lid. And the inner corner. Very pretty. Is that okay? Yeah, really yeah. nice. Okay, good. Mascara. Yeah. Um, Benefit Roller Lash, which you didn't really get on with that no. well, but I really like it. I've got quite naturally curly lashes, so I think that's probably you why. You really do, I can see them. Yeah. Oh, but I feel like this really kind of lengthens and defines, and I've just finished mine, so Victoria gave me hers, I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it just, I have very, I talk about this so often, but my eyelashes are really straight. So I'm going to use my Shoe Mirror Eyelash Curlers, but you can pick up any. Like, it doesn't the count as a product, you can use No, them. it's a tool. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this first, and then I'm gonna use the Lancome Hypnose Doll Eyes Waterproof, because it's just fantastic at holding a curl. I love this mascara. Something about the wand. Look how well it works on my yeah, lashes. It really does. 
Okay, my mascara is done. God, Louie, you're so fast. Sorry, I am quite fast. So fast? Um, I don't put that much on it. This is just like an easy day look. Just like a few strokes. That looks, that's such a good mascara. It's lovely, isn't it? I need to try that though. Are you ambidextrous with your mascara? Or do you do it all with your right hand? All with my right hand. All oh, right. Do you use your left? Yeah. <gasps> Free. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> left, left. I don't know why. I don't know why. I wow, do. I'm so jealous. I can't do anything with my left hand. Like, I can't even pick something up from the table. Are you being serious? You can't pick anything up with your left hand? I can, but I would never. I would never go to use my left hand. <laughs> so, Lily Pebbles quote of the day. <laughs> I need to start keeping a book of the funny things that you say. I keep a book of funny things that Rich says. I really? didn't realise I was like that too. Damn it. Oh, gosh, that's brilliant. Oh, Rich is so funny. This is, I would never use my left hand for anything. Oh, I really wish my brows were done. It's all right, I'll just brush them up a bit. We'll have to do. And product number five. Okay, mine's a lipstick. Mine is. Um, it's from Longcom. It's number 212. It's kind of like a blushy nude, but I'm going to try to use it as blusher as well. Are I just you? suddenly thought I could maybe put a little bit on my cheeks and blend oh, it out and it might work. Mine is my most used lipstick ever. You're probably so sick of seeing this, but this is a YSL. Rouge for Lucked, Nude Beige number one. And it's my mm, favourite nude. So nice. A little I bit love lighter than this. Yeah, Press I love there. that shade though. Yes. I've been using that a lot. It's really lovely. It's quite nice actually, because it's kind of glossy. Is it? Oh yeah. I love that. Two in one product. Oh, done. I think we did really well. I think we did well as well, because there were quite a few products that we could use for more than one thing. Yeah, absolutely. Like I feel like, I'd, like I personally like to have dark brows with this hair, so I probably would do my brows and maybe a bit of eyeliner. But if I was just nipping out and I needed five products, these would be the ones I'd use. Yeah, I always wear eyeliner, but I think on some days it's quite nice to just have. It makes you look a bit more fresh when you yeah. just have mascara. I agree. Yeah. If you just put a bit of mascara on, a little bit of like eyeshadow in the inner corner, yeah. your eyes are so popped. Yeah. But yeah, I think we did well, though, Lil. I think we did well as well. I'm a bit like, I haven't put any powder on, so I'm a bit like, yeah, shiny, dewy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but I quite like being dewy. Yeah, me I too. like it. What do you guys think? Let us know down below in the comments. And also, I really hope you've kind of picked up some tips and some new ideas for products you might really love. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, we picked these because we really love them. So hopefully you've found something that you think that's awesome, I can use that in a few different ways. And maybe we gave you some inspiration to do your makeup in like five minutes tomorrow morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going to now. Yeah. I want to do this more. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed that guys. If you did, please do give it a like. And don't forget as well to go over to Lily's channel, like I said. Um, oh, and we've also just filmed, <laughs> obviously, a video on Lily's channel. We filmed a... Hall. Hall. <laughs> that was like hours ago. What did we do? Yeah, it kind of is. yeah, we filmed a haul with our newest pieces that we just picked up. Oh, so, there's some good stuff. Yeah, some really, really lovely stuff. So go along to that. I'll leave the link down below as well. So make sure you go over and subscribe and watch that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.